All right, welcome to Break Check. I'm Greg. And I'm Brian. And we're at Hidden Falls Adventure Park in Marble Falls, Texas, just outside of Marble Falls. Somewhere in the beautiful hill country. Exactly. So we're here with a, we've got, what do you have? Well, I had the 2012 Generation 1 Ford Raptor, as you can see in all the glory. Now, I do want to point one thing out uh, before we get to your vehicle. Yes. For some reason, come take a look at this. For some reason, the Raptor just has to puke all over itself. All we've done is drive down a mildly moist dirt road. What modifications have you done? Uh, zero. Zero. Yep. Zero. Okay. It has uh, it has KO two like came from the factory, right. and that's it. All right. Uh, we well, actually, that's not true. Come, come forward. In terms of off-road ability, uh, I've definitely added a lot of a lot of ability. So, as you can see here, we've added the bro lights on the A pillars. That's worth at least like two inches of ground clearance right there. So this helps you mud or go yes. off-road in daylight. I mean, four-wheel drive doesn't work unless those are on. Okay. Right. All right. Um, if you look closely in the grill, I have a bro bar right here. All right. It lights up the backs of the grill really well. Oh, but the that's helpful. Said, yeah, the internet said that's where you should put it. Oh. And then these are some $16 Amazon lights, and those just allow you to drive on anything other than pavement. Ah, I got you. Yeah, pretty good. What are you? What are you driving? Well, we've got something better over here. So what we have over here, is we have Xena, the Unicorn Princess Warrior. Why is it the unicorn? Because it's a manual. And? And four-wheel drive. Exactly. So we've got stock tires. Well, we've got... Frontier wheels. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we've got stock tires, street tires. They're, it's going to be interesting today. So, so these are all season highway tires that would have come on a non off road package. Nothing special. Frontier. This is not a Pro FX. This right. is not a, any of that business. Not an off road edition. Wait, so you don't have locking discs front or rear? All I have is uh, four low. <laughs> okay, we have an update. Talk to us. So uh, this fuse does work. All the lights still stay on, still doesn't function real well. Wait, wait you, mean, you mean when you remove this fuse, it fixes four-wheel drive? It fixes four-wheel drive, that's gotcha. the bottom line. Okay. So we're gonna put it back in for now, because the highway drive, and I want cruise control and a speedometer. But when we get to the off-road part, popping this bad boy back out. Solved. Thank you, Nissan. Thank you, Nissan, for being so simple. Thank you. Even though you're problematic. Try that, Land Rover. Hey, how are my fuses doing? Oh, that's right. They're fine. And I've got a third pedal for something. All right, let's get after it. Let's go. go, America, let's go. Okay, viewers, I'm in two-wheel drive. Hi, obviously. Diff is not locked, but we are in off-road mode, which softens out the throttle response and holds gears a little bit longer. I don't think that's happening. All right, we're attempting people. Um, no four-wheel drive, let's see how this goes. Oh, not very good. Four-wheel drive? Okay. This is the easiest trail? Shot, just look. Give it a little bit more speed, you think? I think the water is the only way to go, but I'm happy to do it first if you want. I do. I'll try it. We'll see. Get that. All right, so note to self, the water's not that deep. Water's not too deep, but altering tires would be really nice. All righty, so we've switched, and we're, uh, I'm now in the Raptor, the, which is overkill, but that's okay. We'll do it. Brian's in the Xterra. He's gonna try to do- back here. 
We're gonna try to do the same loop in two wheel drive. Let me turn Brian off. He's really getting kind of annoying. Just turn him off here. But before we get started, boys and girls, I finally got his wallet. It's mine now. Also, what a pigsty in here. But it doesn't matter. I got his wallet. So. Yeah, everything's on except the Speedo. Tack is good. Um, it's like Christmas in July up here, man. With your permission, I'm gonna try the bank. Go for it, baby. All right, folks, let's do this. A lot of stuff making noise in the back. Woo hoo hoo! Like nothing, baby. Piece of cake. <laughs> Dual drop. No, really. I just momentum. Yeah. We're just. We first, st we third. started at this. Yeah. That was the problem. That was our first problem. Well, we're continuing our adventure at Hidden Falls Park outside of Marble Falls, Texas, and we're getting ready to tackle our next challenge. What's it called? Wildcat Mountain. Wildcat Mountain. Can we make this one in two wheel drive? Uh, we'll find out. It depends on which line we choose. So again, what's better? What what works here? A Raptor that can basically tackle anything, or a good cash used car for thirty six hundred dollars. We'll find out. We'll find out. So so far we've done the uh, kind of the beginner loop for full size rigs. Yep. Exterior perimeter uh, of the property. How the two compare? We both driven these vehicles. Both them loop twice. Mm -hmm. um, Start with the exterior. What's your highlight so far? Highlights of the Xterra is, it, it's smaller, it's more nimble. Right. I love a manual. I feel oh, like you yeah. just can control it better. Plus. That's a big plus. You don't have all the gadgets of the hill descent control and all these other nannies that are helping you out, but you I just know you you feel like you're doing it more yourself. Yeah. And which is probably silly, but that's just kind of where I'm at. Sight lines are a little better. It is a more command, easier view to see out of, you know, when you're trying to get a good line. Um, it does ride rougher at speed. I'm way more concerned but, about rocks with those tires. Oh, but sure, sure. But after, uh, not worried about anything, I just go. Yeah, I kind of, yeah. So I'll say my time in the, the Xterra was uh, very entertaining. It is uh, it's a little more tippy than the Raptor is. A little more there tippy. It's certainly, as we found out, yep. uh, a little narrower, a little uh, more oh, tippy. But baby. because of that, it's a little more exciting. It's true. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. Like the oh, Raptor yeah. never sweat at all, yeah. which on a trail like this is a little less entertaining. Right. Um, now, that being said, uh, one of our cameramen drove the truck earlier on the same loop and said that uh, this is easier to drive than a normal car in a mall parking lot. So, <laughs> where is off road? So, it's just food for thought. This really yeah. isn't its element, right? Doing high speed stuff. No. Nope. Now, I will say at low speeds, Xterra rides a little bit better in little undulations that anything more than a little over low speed, it starts to let go and the Raptor starts to get better. We'll say one more thing about the Xterra I do like. Um, every time we stop and taking a break today yep. and uh, getting, you know, something really good to eat, but we open opened that back hatch yep. and got me a little sunshade. That's true. I don't have that so, on this one. Um, but that's just an SUV versus a truck. True. And one more thing I want to point out, camera can look at this too. Um, for some reason, we've done the same exact trails today. The exterior looks dirty. Yeah, that's true. But that's about it. Come look at the Raptor. The Raptor looks like it has puked over itself, like it's driven through a cesspool of some sort. And the sidestep, I've decided, is no longer useful as a sidestep. It somebody... looks like maybe it's a, uh, a, a scoop or a receptacle of something like it. Yeah, it's just... Definitely, it's just a mud shelf. That's all okay. it is. It's a mud okay. shelf. So I'm not sure how useful it is in mud. What kind of engine does this have? Uh, it's a mud point two. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, what like. yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what it looks okay. like. Yeah. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay, great. Well, let's tackle this. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, so we're uh, going up what we call Wildcat Mountain now. I'm doing my best to just... Let's just see if we can go up in two-wheel drive. So far, so good. Uh, may need a more coming back down just for the gearing and just kind of slow it down since I don't have crawl control. Uh, but so far, the Xterra is hanging in there pretty good. Now, something I've noticed with the Raptor that's quite interesting compared to the Xterra is that the Xterra, you have to pick your line a little bit differently. Um, you can go left or right, whereas the Raptor just bridges the two together in more cases than not. Um, and often it feels like the best choice for it. Uh, the reason why I say that is that it's too wide to fit the normal track. So you just hang one way or the other and uh, go for it. I'm not gonna follow the same line as my brother does because he's got the Raptor, but this little mountain goat's gonna be just fine if you will drive here. A little bumpy. So this Wildcat Mountain is the highest point in Hidden Falls Park. 
Um, there's definitely more trails here for side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, that kind of stuff, or, or proper Jeeps. Um, a lot of trails are named like Axle Buster and, um, you know, Jeep-specific places. We are not in Jeep-specific vehicles at all. Um, we're taking very interesting vehicles up here. Uh, awfully stock, both of them, completely stock. But you know what? They're getting it done. There's an old saying in off-roading, I may have said it before, but uh, it's slow as possible, fast as, ne as necessary. And that's definitely the way to go on this trail, especially if you're in a car that's not really built for this. I mean, this, uh, we can maybe go faster, but then you're just gonna, you're just gonna break more stuff. That's the main thing. Do you wanna break more stuff or do you just wanna keep having a good time? Okay, so now we're kind of getting up to the, it's a little steeper up here as we continue to climb Wildcat Mountain. And uh, the really hard part about this Wildcat Mountain is you get a little farther up. Not only does it just get steeper, it just gets rockier. It is really rough rocks out here. And uh, I can see how if you're not paying attention and you're going maybe faster than you should, you could really get a tire, get in the tire situation. Okay, boys, let's go for it. Ron's, uh, he's getting ready to uh, go up this uh, pretty steep mountain. You got, you got a roof. You kind of. You've kind of got an easy route, you got a medium route and a hard route. We're not going to do the hard route, but uh, we did the easy, I did the easy route earlier, no problem. He did the medium route earlier, no problem. We're going to see if the Xterra can do the medium route this time. And if not, we'll just abandon ship, but let's see. Oh yeah, I'm going to try it. All right, viewers, we're going to try this in two wheel drive diff locked. Should be fun, let's go. Definitely tipsy. Ooh. All right, that's not cutting it. Let's try four wheel drive. Back. 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 What was that? The tailpipe's getting crushed. Back straight up and go more to your right when you go the next time. All right, go passenger. There's more passenger. Yeah, about that berm on the left up here, I gotta worry about too. Oh, the camera's still on there. Diff locked. Oh. 10 4. We're cleared. Easy as pie. Time for the Xterra. Keep your comms on. It's starting to rain and I've decided to take the hardest line here, at least for full size vehicles, and let's see how this goes. You know it. Okay, let's do this. Yeah! 
Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, don't walk. Don't walk. Oh, sh**. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! This truck has no business Get doing in. that. Whew. That was tricky. God bless you, Raptor. Even on off dunes, you excel. Well, how was that? That was interesting. Pretty cool. Uh, I think you need to do that. No, I'm good. Um, that was honestly not that big of a deal. Are we still on? Yeah. All right, boys, so what we did is uh, there's a hard, yep. a medium, and an easy. Yep. When we first went up, I went up to easy, you went up to medium. Yep. And on the second way back, on this or trial run. Trial on this, run. On this real run now, you went, I went on the medium, mm -hmm. and the mountain goat made it. Sure. Did and a good job, by the way. Did a good job. And then the uh, beastly raptor went up the hard one. Yep. First attempt. First attempt. Pretty good. Now, in all fairness, <laughs> I used everything it had. Yep. So diffs locked, four low, off-road mode, locked in first gear, and it just crawled up. Like there was no torque problem, anything like that. Now it did it did step sideways. It's raining by the way, which is perfect to do this. <laughs> so right. it slipped to the left a little bit, but it was fine. Awesome. It was awesome. All right, let's go to the peak. Let's go summit. Who said you need a Jeep? Psh, let's go. Okay. Well we made it up the uh the hard challenge with uh the raptor. Um Mountain Goat Xterra here made it up the uh, easy one, which uh, was no easy feat, but it did it uh, with quite success. And now uh, the only thing we got left are a bunch of rocks, and uh, it's starting to rain on us a little bit. But we've got the summit. All we got left is the summit. So beautiful view awaits us at the top, and uh, we just got to get there. To Wildcat Mountain, we hit the peak. We hit the peak of this park, at least. Of this park, yes. Now we did choose to go up as the rain was coming down, which made it awfully entertaining. It made it much more entertaining. I hit a bump. I was pretty sure it was over, but I continued forward. Here we are. Yep. Mountain, mountain goat prevails. Yep. I took the hard line. Yes, you did. And uh, did pretty good. You made it. Didn't seem to care that much. No. I was more excited than it was. That's for sure. <laughs> um, I do apologize for the wind up here. We are at the peak. We are at the peak. It we are dealing with Nigerian dust storms at the same time. That's what we've got. We got yeah. Dust, uh, we got see. a dust storm rolled in, but it's been fun. It's been beautiful. It's beautiful visit. part of the whole country. Absolutely. Yep. Well, thanks for watching Brake Check. We'll catch you next time. Yeah. Until terrible or yes, you got it finally. Terrible or bearable. Terrible or bearable. Or terrible or bearable. Or unbearable. Go both ways. How does it work? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, get your rig, go wheeling, it's worth it. It's a blast.